Hey guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. So today I'm going to be showing you how I map out my entire month of August for my home daycare, which is a multi-age group consisting of two and three year olds. And so I'm, if you saw my last video, I showed you how I do just a very quick yearly plan. And so this is my yearly plan for August. And so now I'm going to take um, just kind of like my chicken scratch notes and go in more into a detail and really map out how I'm going to teach and all the activities and everything that for the month of August. So um, our theme is under the big top. So we're going to do a circus theme. And so that is our big umbrella theme. And then I have weekly themes of a day at the circus, elephants, circus acts, and popcorn. So this is a four week unit and then August is a four week month. And so week one will be a day at the circus. Week two will be elephants. Week three is going to be circus acts. And week four is going to be popcorn. Now I also have a mini unit back to school. And so we are going to do that mini unit the first week as well. Um, so I've made a note to do back to school this week. Um, and then we are going to learn letters E for elephant and M for monkey this month. And so I'm going to put letter E um, on our elephant week and I'm going to do letter M on our circus acts week. And then I also have a preschool math to do with my three-year-olds. And so we are going to just start that unit. Um, I'm going to do, I'm gonna start it on week three. So we'll do, uh, preschool math lesson one on that Monday, preschool math lesson two on that Wednesday, and preschool math lesson three on that Friday. And then we'll do the same for next for the following week. So we're gonna do four, five, and lesson six. So in math unit one, there are um, 21 lessons, and I usually like to have that wrapped up by the end of October. So I do not do um, like a math lesson every single day. And so for the month of August, I wanted to get through um, six of them. So um, other than that, I kind of have some other little events that we're going to do a couple of field trips. And so um, I'm going to show you how now I take this and then I actually go onto my computer to make um, more notes. So these are my lesson plans. I like to use Canva to uh, type in all my lesson plans here. And so this is week one uh, for us. It's August 7th through the 11th will be our first week of school. And so first I have morning circle, which always starts at 830. And so here I just like to put what book I'm planning on reading the kids. Um, so for the first three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I chose a kind of back to school book, um, and typed in, um, you know, the, the title of the book. And then for Thursday and Friday, I went ahead and started, um, more of our circus themed books. And then here is on the side here on our weekly, I have our morning circle time schedule and our afternoon circle time schedule, our learning centers for the week. So in library, we're gonna have back to school books and circus books. Our dramatic play will be grocery store. In block center, I will pull out my August toys. So I do have all my blocks, manipulatives and um, toys all broken up by months. And so I just pull the bucket for August and put that out in blocks. In Mass Center, um, the theme is going to be colors. And then in Literacy Center, um, I'm going to put a bunch of ABC just exploring to toys. So um, our table trays uh, are for, for actually the whole month. I don't change out my table trays for the whole month. Um, there's four of them. So one is elephant numbers, clown stackers, fine motor bus, and circus puzzle. So. Um, and I can show you guys in a different video how I kind of set up all of these things. But these over here in weekly, because these are the stuff that's not going to change um, throughout the week. And so uh, now 
How I do instructional time in my classroom is I call it teacher table time. So after circle time, the children choose a center to go play in. And so these are the centers that they get to choose. And then I have my kids broken up in by age groups. So I will call over, you know, the preschool group to the table, to the teacher table, and we will do their instructional time while the other groups are playing. And then as they wrap up and get done with their instructional time, they just go back to their centers and then I call the next group. So this group time usually takes about an hour to do because it's about 20 minutes per group. Um, this year it will probably be 40 minutes because I don't actually have um, an infant group this school year, but I went ahead and typed this because I do want to show you kind of how I do plan out for a multi-age group. So I'm going to show you how I would plan out for my infants. They are the last group of um, that I would call to the teacher table because usually after circle time, this age group goes down for a little morning nap. Um, and then when they get up, we do their group time. So, but for this current school year, I will only have a preschool group and then a toddler twos group. Um, so each of these groups have similar things that they do at the table and different things. So everybody is doing read to me. And so that is a new literacy program that I have started um, that the kids at the beginning of every month bring home some book cards. And then as their parents uh, read books to them, they get to write the title of the book. And so we start our instructional time by um, if they have brought any of those book cards back, they get to put it on our literacy um, bulletin board. And so this theme for August is um, the if you give a mouse a cookie. So the theme is if you read to a child, chances are they will ask for another and the book cards are little cookies. And so we get they get to put and staple up any of their cookie book cards to the bulletin board. So that's how I start each of our instructional time. And then since we are doing a back to school mini unit this for week one, here is my August curriculum. I will go to back to school here. Um, now I start by looking, I just start flipping through. Now my lesson plans are already here. So this is really just kind of guiding me. So it says back to school day one. So when I look here, I know I just need to open this up and we're just gonna do back to school day one. And it kind of gives me everything to do with the kids. And so we're going to do a little craft here and then they're gonna get their first day um, picture. So that is every single group is gonna do. So my preschool group will do that. My toddler tooth group will do that. And then if you had an infant group, they would do that as well. And then I flip to the next one and this is uh, get to know your classroom tour. Um, so you can see I put the preschool group will do that one and the toddler tooth group would do that one. But if I had an infant group, they would not do this one because that would be not really appropriate. And so I would just kind of skip that one for that age group. And then I have a do a dot for day three everybody can do that one so I would put that in each of the groups. Day four is an apple sensory everyone in, can do this one and so I would put that in each of the groups and then day five is a um, scissor cutting practice uh, worksheet and so this would just be uh, preschools and preschool and toddlers. So that is how I would set up my back to school mini units so you can see I have for like preschool, back to school day one, back to school day two, back to school day three, back to school day four, and back to school day five. Okay. And then I don't always do two units a week. This just happens to be uh, back to school. And I did want to also start my circus unit. And so also I would go to day at the circus, which is my first day here. And I do the same thing. So everybody's gonna do this one. Preschool and toddlers would do this one. Um, now day three, we are going to the splash pad from 9.30 to 11. And so I know that I'm already scheduled us to do that back to school day three lesson plan. So we are not gonna have time to do this one as well. So I would just skip this one. 
And then day four, everyone can do that one. And then day five. Um, so for day five, I'm actually going to have just my toddler group do this one. And then my preschool group is going to not do this one. And instead, they're going to do this lesson plan on Friday um, instead of the color orange one since we are starting preschool math and they'll be doing a color review. So, okay, so that's how I would do my two units. I hope that makes sense. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how I do my infants. Um, so I use a Grow With Me curriculum with my infants. So they don't always do the group activities in here um, unless it's like a craft or um, like a you know language activity or something that I know that they can do. But if these are like you know scissor practice or something like that, that they're just not really age appropriate for. Um, they instead work individually through a Grow With Me activities. So I did an example here. I put like Evan is six months and Janie is 11 months. Um, so let's say Evan, he's six months. This would say six months. I would grab this teacher's guide and choose, you know, a couple of the activities to do with Evan. And then Janie, who's 11 months, I would grab the 11 month teacher's guide and choose some of the activities to do with Janie. Now, this since this says Janie is 11 months, my Grow With Me ends on their first birthday. So for the, since this is August, for the month of September, Janie would no longer be part of this group at all. She would bump up into this age group. And then Evan for September, this one would become seven months. October, eight months. November, nine months, until he outgrows grow with me as well and bumps up to the next age group. The other ones I do not bump up until the new school year. So grow with me, my infant group is the only group that graduates on their birthday into the next group. Um, but for this school year, I do not have infants, but I did want to show you guys what it would look like to map out all three age groups because I know Many of us have multi-age groups. Um, so that is how I do my infants. So I'm gonna take this off before I print. So for actually for then for this school year, um, I don't have a group C, so I would just leave that blank. And then for other is usually just my own notes, any field trips we're doing, any um, other activities. So like on Monday, I know I need to send home the read with me cards. And on Tuesday, we have a storm and fire drill. And then on Wednesday, we are going to the splash pad in the morning. So, uh, so yeah, so this is my week one uh, map all ready to go. So let's go into week two. And so what I do is I just copy and I'm going to change the date here. So this one will be August um, 14th through the 18th. Okay, and then I want to copy the page two as well. And then my weekly theme for week two is elephants. All right, and okay, so table toys does not change. Um, here, some of these do change sporadically, so I'm just going to go through each one. Uh, so back to school and circus books, I'm going to leave that. Uh, grocery store is not changing. August toys is not changing. Colors is not changing. Um, uh, cause I've not even started preschool math yet. Um, ABC Explorer toys will change because we are doing letter E. So letter E. So, um, the literacy center will be all letter E activities. Um, and then my circle times do not change. My routines do not change either. So uh, first thing I like to do is make sure that we are having a full week. So I will have kids Monday through Friday that week. And the theme is elephants. 
So I'm going to open up two elephants. First, I'm going to change my books. Um, since we are not reading back to school books this week, it's just a elephant, um, you know, letter elephant books. I'm just typing out. I, I really just kind of go in order um, what books I'm going to read the kids. And so let's see, Monday will be, where's Ellie? Tuesday is going to be Dumbo. Wednesday, what's that sound at the circus? Uh, Thursday, Mommy and Me. And Friday is Circus Opposites. Um, and then I start with my preschool group. So my read with me is not going to change ever. So I just usually you leave that. We always start with, um, if anyone brought in any book cards and they can put them on the bulletin board, I'm going to take off back to school because that is no longer. Um, this one is elephants is our, all right. So elephants day one, and then my toddler group will also do this one, elephants. Day one. Okay. And then day two. Yep. That one looks good. So I've already done all the work with each of the lesson plans. So it's just really mapping out what I'm going to teach that day. So elephant day three looks good. Okay, and then day four is some sensory bottles. So everybody will be doing that one. And then day five is Q-tip art. So everybody will be doing that one. Okay, so we're also doing letter E which is also in here, um, which I know we are, um, this is for my preschoolers and my toddlers will be doing this one. So I know that that's all good to go. So I'm going to just put um, letter E, day four, hold on, letter E, Day five, letter E, day four, letter E, day five, okay, go up here, letter E, day one, uh, so that takes care of all of our instructional time because we are still have not started preschool math. That was, well, we're going to start that on week three. So, all right. So let's see. The back to school bash I already planned. That's going to be before the seventh. Um, we did the splash pad for week one. I did want to do a park day and a community pool day. That was the week before. That was the week before. Take that one off. And I think we're just going to do a full week in daycare and not go anywhere this, this week. Um, since it's our first letter week and kids are still getting used to the schedule, I'm not going to go take them anywhere on week two. Um, so yeah, so that is it. Week two is all planned. And let's go to week three which is August 21st through the 25th. All right, our weekly theme for week three is circus acts. All right, so the first thing I do is start here. So table toys do not change. Um, for the library, I'm gonna take away the back to school books and we're just gonna have circus books. Grocery store stays the same, August toys stays the same, color starts, Stays the same and for letter C we're switching to letter M. Um, no 
will stay the same. Okay, so the first thing I do is I'm going to type in my books. So I'm going to open up to my Circus Axe books and type these in first. Okay, and then I just, I'm just going to flip through to make it a little bit faster. If I really, if I see, um, since I don't have infants, uh, for the most part, both of my age groups do um, each of the activities. So but I'm just going to flip through and just make sure that I want my preschoolers and my toddlers to complete each of these. Okay, so since I'm starting preschool math this week, I'm going to pull out the math assignments and only do them with my toddlers since my preschoolers will be doing their own math. So everyone's going to do day one. Toddlers are only going to do day two. Toddler twos. Um, everyone's going to do day three. And then I'm just going to do toddler twos for four and five. And so both groups will be doing letter M. So I'm just going to switch this one to say letter M. Okay, and then for preschool math, we were going to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So my preschool group. So it looks like Tuesday would be a good day to do a park day. Um, so I'm going to pull this down to other and I'm going to put park. Um, nine, whoop, nine to ten. And so I'm going to take the kids to a um, larger park in our community. That'll be a good day for that. And so I'm going to mark off because I had planned to do a um, park day. So I'm going to mark that one off. That and I just realized that no, I'm closed Tuesday. That's why we mapped this out, you guys. Um, we are going to do the park day on Thursday. So I'm gonna pull this down to Thursday. There we go. And um, so I'm just gonna delete Tuesdays. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We are closed. All right, and then we're going to do week four for August, and then we will all will be completely planned out for August. So this one is August 28th through September 1st. Okay. And let's copy this one. So our weekly theme for this week is popcorn. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull up my books for popcorn, type them in, make sure that I'm not closed any days. Nope, it is a full week. And then I'm just going to flip through my five um, lesson plans for popcorn and see if I want to take any of them away for preschoolers. So. Okay, so um, day four, I'm gonna take that one away for preschoolers since they have their preschool math. Um, so it's just day four. So, okay, it is not a letter week. So I'm gonna take um, the letter off of each of these. All right, but I, this is we are doing preschool math. So we're doing four, five, and six, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'm gonna type in four, five, and six. Okay, and then I wanted to do the commu our community pool. So I'm gonna look for this, for the day that we have the least. We're actually gonna do this Thursday. So we're gonna go swim. Um, we're gonna get 10 to 11. We're gonna go, okay. So that ends our last um, like field trip event. And the only other thing I need to switch up is this stuff here. So table trays, this table trays stay the same. 
Library stays the same, Dramatic Play stays the same, Block Center stays the same, my Math Center switches because we only, this is actually going to switch to numbers one through five for my Math Center. And then it's not a letter week, so I go back to ABC Explore Toys. Okay. And that looks good. So this is the whole month, you guys. It's all planned out. Um, I'm gonna print this and show you how I put it together then. Um, now, since this is the beginning of the school year and this is the first one, I also have to print my cover. So, all right, so I'm gonna download just the first two to make my cover. And I'm gonna print that on both sides. Print. And then the next one I'm gonna download is the four weeks and print that. So you want your first page to be either blank or a color so that your lesson plans line up um, correctly. And go ahead and print that. And then the last one I'm gonna print is just page two and three, just like the solid green to make my back cover for my planner. And make sure it's on both sides. Okay, so let me get, close this up and show you how I put my lesson planner together. So I like to use a swing line pro click to create um, a lot of my lesson plan books. You can use a binder, you can uh, just print off single sheets, just whatever works for you. Um, I went ahead and laminated the cover of my lesson plan and the back cover um, and I will only print this once for the whole year, but I only print my monthly lesson plans um, monthly. So I do not plan out in detail my entire school year. That's I only do a quick uh, overview mapping like I did in my first lesson plan video. Um, so I only keep one month's worth of lesson plans in my lesson plan book. And then when I get closer to September, I'll add September's and usually just take out um, August. So all this does is just put the holes so I can put it into, so I can bind it. And then here are the lesson plans. So like I said, to print the, just a single sheet first, because then your lesson plans line up correctly. So I have them all in the correct order. So I'm gonna put my holes in these. Okay, and then I can put this together. So I'll put the back cover first and then the lesson plan. Um, and then the front cover. And then this one's really cool. You just kind of click the spine close. So that's why it's called a um, swing line pro click. So I'm just gonna click these closed. Okay, so this is what this looks like, guys. So we got week one, week two, week three, and week four. And that's it. That's all I map out and we're ready to go. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.